Right, hello everyone and welcome to Sinful Gaming. Hope you're all doing well, hope you're all staying safe, and most of all, I hope you're all fighting that war against the Grey. Or in this case, I hope you're all fighting that war against the law. Today, we're going to look at a question I see pop up on the Age of Sigma Facebook group that I run an awful lot, and that is how to get started with Age of Sigma fiction, or what are some good fiction to read? How do I get started in the law? That question, however it's asked, is asked almost daily by people, I think, on the page. And I see a bunch of great responses and a bunch of great ways, some not so great ways as well. And I'm going to try and give you my own thoughts um, and opinions on how I think are some great ways to really get into the Age of Sigma lore in this video with the Black Library Fiction. Now, we're not going to talk about anything the Battle Tomes, but it probably should be mentioned that Battle Tomes and campaign supplements are a fantastic way to learn about the lore, but that's not what we're going to focus on here. Definitely, if you have an army you're interested in, pick up your Battle Tome. It is the best place to get the, I guess, gist of the lore and the core rulebook and campaign supplements, such as Wrath of the Everchosen, Malign Portents, um, etc., are great ways to get the overarching narrative that is happening in Warhammer Age of Sigma. Um, it should be noted that the narrative in Age of Sigma is always evolving, always pushing forwards. Um, where we were at the beginning of Age of Sigma is not where we are lore wise at the current time in Age of Sigma. It's a really great way to have the lore that it evolves this way over time. But these are four great ways I reckon you can get started into Age of Sigma fiction. We're gonna look at four different books. Um, you can see I've got them all on here on screen. I'll talk about each one and how it sort of works. Um, lastly though, it should also be noted that we're actually gonna start on the channel doing Black Library reviews. Now this will be not only Age of Sigma, but we'll look into 40K and maybe We'll even look into other fantasy novels as well. Um, but let's get into this. Let's look at this, how to get started with Age of Sigma Fiction, and we'll get into the first book now. So the first book we're going to look at in this is called Sacrosanct and Other Stories. Now, these ones actually say in the top right-hand corner, you can see of the book, they actually say start here. This book is fantastic for getting yourself straight into the lore of Warhammer Age of Sigma. So the first half of this novel here, because this has actually got a multitude of different stories here, but the first half of it is a self-contained novella. Um, and that's a whole story that will go through, um, talking about mainly focusing on the sacrosanct chamber of Stormcast, which are the current Stormcast chamber at the focal point of Age of Sigma. They're Stormcast wizards and such, and so they're the army you get inside the Soul Wars box set, and that really focuses on that. And their interactions within the city, and it's quite a cool story just to sort of get you in the mood for the setting of what is Warhammer Age of Sigma. But what's really great about this particular novel is that the second half of it is actually a bunch of short stories that all come from different parts of books, whether they're other anthologies, um, you know, or say one of the stories in there is actually from the Eight Lamentation series, which we'll get to later. Um, but there's a great bunch of these other little stories sh taken out of other um, compilements of stories and get you exploring these other parts so you can go off and figure out, oh, I really like this story. I want to know more about this particular part of um, or where this story is from and you can find out where it is. Um, from quite easily on Black Library, you'll be able to find the connecting stories to it and go, oh, I remember that. I read that in Sacrosanct and other stories. So I really think this is quite a cool novel to get started with as it's got that initial sort of story that just immerses you in the world and then it gives you the other these other points of which you can then explore further on. Um, it should also be noted that there, I believe it's still in print. I'm not 100% sure, but there was a one before this called uh, Hammerhall and Other Stories and that is the one predecessor to this which you should also pick up for the same reason as this it does the same thing it's got a self-contained story and a bunch of other little short stories it's really cool but this is definitely a great way to get in especially if you do like stormcast um although there's lots of other stories within this book that don't focus on stormcast as much as well um it's really hard to get some age of sigma lore without stormcast being in it somewhat especially when you're first sort of trying to learn because stormcast are such a focal point in age of sigma lore 
Next up, we have City of Secrets. Now, this is personally one of my favorite Age of Sigmar stories. I think this is absolutely fantastic. Now, the reason why I suggest City of Secrets is this book came out just as the Seeds of Hope or the first cities were truly being founded and being explored properly. This was the first look at a proper city we got in Age of Sigmar. Um, I think it really sort of delves into the nitty gritty stuff that you don't see on the tabletop and shows you that um, average life of an average person in the city of Sigma, um, which really helps set the scene for Age of Sigma. I mean, these gigantic cities, it's really nothing like you've seen in many other fantasy. These cities are just absolutely huge, and it's a really cool look at them. Um, this also has its own. Um, sequel uh, which is called Cows and Told the Silver Shard so it's really cool um, and it actually has a spin-off as well for another character in the series as well um, all in all though I really do think City of Secrets is a great one to get started in as it sort of sets you in and gives you that um, more sort of focused view at very few characters and not quite as wide ranging as some of the other entrances into Age of Sigma um, with the narrative that you can get um, it also shows off some really cool enemies um, and how sort of chaos can still corrupt everything even though the Age of Sigmar is pushing the tides back. Um, but definitely a good one to get as well. And so next up we've got, well, the start of Age of Sigmar and that is the Realm Gate Wars themselves. Now, to start with, there is a prequel to the Realm Gate Wars series known as Gates of Azir, and definitely it's a cool thing and a valley you should pick up before actually moving on to the Realm Gate Wars. Um, it's like a little prequel, though it's not needed, but I do recommend probably reading that before you start with the Realm Gate Wars. Now, the Realm Gate Wars comes in these anthologies you can see here of these much bigger books, although it also has a multitude of smaller book options you can do. If you like having a nice collection of books, the smaller books that look really cool on your shelf and stuff like that that but the realm gate wars focuses on the first part of age of sigma when the age of sigma begins when sigma makes his strike back against the forces of chaos that have corrupted the mortal realms um, and this follows a multitude of different storm hosts and stormcast characters along with some other armies as well and some other cool characters from a bunch of different factions including fire slayers sylvaneth Seraphon, Nurgle, Korn, Zinch, and a bunch of others, which is really, really cool. Um, there's also orcs in there as well, or oryx, whatever you want to call them. Um, but this sets the whole scene, okay? It can be likened, I think, to a lot of the Space Marine novels where it is very, very combat focused, but that is what the Realm Gate Wars were. Um, this is the first strike, this is setting the scene, there is nothing more you can do with this series i mean it's just war it's sigma's army striking out and creating the landscape for narrative to be put further on them what this does though is it really shows you why the stormcasts are revered as they are why they're as important to the age of sigma setting as they are and it gives you that sense of like who they are and all their flaws and uh, their pros as well but this is just a great series to get started with. This is a multitude of books. This will keep you going for hours and hours and hours. Um, so definitely something to check out. Lastly though, and my final suggestion for getting started into the narrative and Black Library fiction for Age of Sigma is the Eight Lamentations series starting with The Spear of Shadows. This is, I guess, Age of Sigma's own Fellowship of the Ring. This is a group of characters that have no right to be together, but do so at the behest of someone or something. Um, there's a bunch of short stories onwards that continue on from this, as well as some audio dramas that are really great. But this, more than anything, gives you the best, I think, scope of the realms and how wild and wacky the mortal realms really are. And how just amazing they can be. Um, it's also worth noting this is written by Josh Reynolds and I could not speak highly enough of Josh Reynolds when it comes to Age of Sigma Fiction. I've yet to read anything by Josh Reynolds for Age of Sigma Fiction that I don't think is amazing. He is arguably, and not even arguably, most people are of the opinion he is the best Age of Sigma author 
out there. Um, he is the bar. Um, this whole series, like I said, though, focuses on a bunch of random different characters coming together for a common goal, and this series continues on as well. No other series, no other books really give you the in-depth look at the realms and just all the weird and wackiness like this. Definitely, my personal opinion, this is where you should start. So, I hope that was helpful for everyone, just looking to get into some Warhammer Age of Sigma fiction. Um, like I said at the start of this little video, though, we will be looking to do some uh, reviews and sort of a podcast on a regular basis, looking at the Black Library fiction for Age of Sigma and also for Warhammer 40,000 and potentially other fantasy universes in the future as well. Um, this is something we really look forward to doing and I hope it can help people sort of find some ways to get into more Black Library fiction. There's a ton of it that I really, really enjoy um, and I just think it's a bunch of great stories to read. Some fantastic authors, some fantastic fiction and it just gives you that little bit more in-depth look at the mortal realms and a bit more understanding than say the core rule books, the army battle tomes and all that gives you. But lastly, um, a special shout out to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon. They're all fantastic people. I'm um, for Guard Militia, Christian Weir, Soren, Philip Ward and Caspawn and our Free Group Regiment members, James and AJC. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, you're all amazing. Lastly though, you can find links to Patreon if you wish to support the channel more down in the link description of the video. As well, you can find links to our Discord there. We can come chat all things Warhammer um, and just tabletop gaming and even other things beside um, there on our Discord server as well. And you can also find a link to our Twitch channel, which you definitely go follow. But that's it for now, everyone. Stay safe, stay well, and most of all, keep fighting that war against the grey. Ciao for now.